I'm Brian Reich, Director of Work Care's Industrial Athlete Program. I'm an NATA BOC Certified Athletic Trainer, Certified Ergonomic Assessment Specialist, and I hold a Master's Degree in Kinesiology. Today, I want to provide you with some key ways we can be fit for work. Before we all celebrate coming back to work, let's remind ourselves of the effects working had on us during this pandemic. Working from home during this time presented us with new challenges. Attempting to balance the challenges of work and home life resulted in many of us working from a recliner or practicing what I call the COVID mullet. Business shirt on top, pajama pants on bottom during those countless video calls. Now it's time to get back in the workplace. One area for us to focus on is proper ergonomics. Whether in a home office or traditional setting or a hybrid model, our bodies aren't conditioned to sit at a desk all day. So we need to understand office ergonomic principles to help keep us fit for work. The most critical aspect of office ergonomics is your workstation setup. Make sure your elbow height matches the table height so you can maintain a 90 degree elbow bend. Make sure your feet can be then flat on the floor. If they aren't, bring in a footstool. If you are looking at the top one third of your monitor, you're doing great. Make sure your thighs are well supported as well as your back and that the bottom of your chair is about two inches behind your knee. Make sure you're keeping your wrists in line with your forearm and you use floating typing techniques and don't constantly hold your mouse. Avoid planting your wrists in front of the keyboard or the mouse as this could lead to things like carpal tunnel. Let's talk about the rest of your workstation so we can be set up for success. Put things you use most frequently nearby, but the things you don't use further away so you can reduce repetitive reaching across your workstation. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take 20 seconds and look 20 feet away. This helps you maintain good eye health. Take micro breaks. These are short, few second breaks where you do some compensatory stretching. That's stretching your body in the opposite direction of what you've been working. Also, whether you have a sit station or a stand station, the key to being fit for work is not staying in one position too long, so make sure you keep moving and adjusting your posture. If you work from a home office or an office building, or changing your commute from up and down stairs to driving uptown to downtown, work in the production industry, or in the industrial setting, there are some critical points we should all focus on so we can be fit for work, both in body and mind. COVID presented new challenges and stresses to the workplace. As we return to be fit in our mind, we should practice mindfulness. A simple example is close your eyes and thoughtfully walk through how each part of your body feels. Then focus on your breathing. As you breathe in, say in, and as you breathe out, say out. There are many mindfulness resources you can find easily via a simple internet search. A Harvard University study of MRI scans of brains pre and post practicing of mindfulness showed that with as little as 10 minutes three times a day, new neurological connections in people's brains are formed. These new connections help us handle stress better and stay focused on the job at hand, keeping us fit for work. During the pandemic, our bodies became deconditioned. This means our muscles and ligaments aren't working very hard, doing the same tasks we did every day when we were working. To get fit for work, it's important to start building that muscle back to prevent sprains and strains. We can do this by performing exercises that are similar to the motions of the demands of your job. It's also important we acclimatize the environmental factors of the job. This is especially true if your job is primarily outdoors. The first sign of dehydration is fatigue. So to stay focused on your job and be fit for work, you need to make sure you're hydrated. In addition to preventing fatigue, your muscles and joints need water to function at their best. To make sure you're getting enough water, take your body weight and divide it in half. That's how many ounces of water you need to drink each day. If you're working in a hot environment or have a highly physically demanding job, you need to increase the amount of water you're drinking proportionally. Another important element of being fit for work is nutrition. We need to look at food as fuel for our body, not just base our dietary choices on what looks good from a value menu. We will not keep our body fit for work and our mind focused without proper nutrition. We make five more mental errors per hour if we skip breakfast. It's important to get the right kinds of fuel and the right amounts of fuel for our body so we can be prepared to perform at work. Finally, to stay fit for work, we need healthy sleep. Making sure we get eight hours of sleep is ideal for an adult. Sleep in a cool, dark, quiet environment and practice a bedtime routine before bed. It's a way you can get good quality sleep and make sure you wake up at the same time and go to bed at the same time each day, even on the weekends. 
This can help maintain the natural rhythm our bodies have in place for sleep. Thank you for your time and attention today. I hope these tips help us all stay fit for work. Remember, work matters, health counts, and prevention saves.